Nora Gon's vintage afghan that she designed for Barocco is probably at the very top of my list. It is a great way to really explore and dive deep into knitting cables. Hey nerdy knitters, Tanya here. Cables are magical things. They're actually pretty simple to work. They're just basically stitches that are worked out of order, but they can create beautiful and even very intricate designs. But the basics of cables are actually pretty simple. I've got a whole video about that, but we're not here for that. We're here to chat about projects that feature cables. And I've got a great collection of free patterns, all featuring different cable motifs from simple to more difficult. The first part of this video we're going to devote just to hats and then the second part will be devoted to other cable knitting projects as well. But best of all, they're all free. So let's start with our free cabled hat collection. Hats are a great way to practice new skills. They're small enough to get a good idea of how that technique is worked and quick enough to knit that you also have a great little finished object when you're done. And most hats can be knit with just one 100 gram skein of yarn. Whether that's worsted or bulky or fingering weight yarn, one skein is generally plenty for a hat, even if it's a cable hat. But my one piece of advice for knitting cables is being careful when you're working them and count your crossing rows and the rows you're supposed to work in between. I actually prefer to knit cables flat because usually on the wrong side rows, you're just knitting and purling back, staying in the pattern that you've set. But all of your cable crossings only happen on right side rows. But of course, when you're knitting in the round, you don't have those right side and wrong side rows. You always see the right side facing you. So it can be a bit easier to mix things up and not remember where you are in the pattern. So my one tip for knitting cables in the round is, to be a little more cautious about making sure you're keeping track of where you are in the pattern. So let's get started with our hat patterns by looking at the first one on this list, Jason's Cashmere Hat by Melissa Thompson. Now this one features just one simple cable crossing, so it's a great first pattern to introduce you to cables. The brim is worked in a knit to purl to rib. It's worked in a pretty long section, so you can fold it over for a double brim if you want, but of course that's easily adjustable. You could make it as long or as short as you want. And the cable is pretty simple. It's one six stitch left cross cable. And this alternates with a little section of rib as well. So it almost acts like a ribbed hat. This cable, so they do pull in, but that little bit of ribbing in between also gives it a nice stretchability. So it, even though it only comes in one size, it should fit a pretty broad range of head sizes. Now this one only has written instructions, there's no charts for this, but it's definitely beginner friendly because it's just one cable. And it just takes one 100 gram skein of Aran weight yarn. Then we have the Antler Toque by Tin Can Knits. This is a really beautiful hat. It starts with a knit one purl one rib that's knit long enough to allow for a double fold. And that of course is certainly easy to adjust. You can knit it short if you want or knit it long for that double fold. And then it has a really beautiful cable motif, but it's actually really quite simple. You just have two four stitch cables, a right cross cable and a left cross cable, but the placement of them is what gives you this really pretty design. And even the crown is lovely. The cables come together and it sort of looks like a large flower on the top of a hat. So they've really taken care to make sure that everything really flows from one part to another. This one does have written and charted instructions and there's also a free photo tutorial on their website as well. But it's definitely easy enough for beginners who are ready to knit cables. This one comes in four sizes from baby to adult and most sizes will take just one skein of worsted weight yarn. Next we have Lake Reed by Aceta Krebs. This one also has a one by one rib brim. And the major motif is also the same as what you'll see in the antler toque. But this one is divided up with some twisted stitches and smaller cable patterns in there as well. And it also has decreases for the crown that go right within the cable. But this hat does have a few drawbacks. The primary language of the designer is German, so the English translation is a little bit unclear in some parts, but it does have written and charted instructions. And because it's a bit more complicated with the decreases worked within the cables and those unclear instructions, I'd say this is better for an intermediate knitter. It comes in one size and uses a skein of DK weight yarn. Then we have a design by Pearl Soho, their traveling cable hat. Now this one is a knit two pearl two rib and it is also a double fold brim. So of course, easily adjustable to your desired length or amount of yarn. 
and it has an interesting cable pattern. This one has a large six stitch cable, so three over three, then also has smaller four stitch traveling cables. So a little bit more going on here, but you can find a photo tutorial on their website, but it is just written instructions, no charts here. But because of those more slightly more advanced cabling, I would say that intermediate to advanced should be fine. But if you're feeling adventurous, you could definitely give this a try. The photo tutorial is very helpful. So this one comes in two sizes and you might need part of a second skein of Aran White yarn to complete the larger size. Next on my list is Tied Knots by Justina Lorkowska. This one also features a knit two purl two brim, but I like how it flows into that cable patterning. It has more of a slouchy fit. A lot of times cable hats are more fitted, so this is a nice alternative. It has eight different types of cables, so it's definitely a bit more involved and a step up from some of these easier one cable crossing kind of hats. And the crown shaping is integrated right into the cables as well. So because of that, I would label this more for intermediate to advanced knitters because you have all of those different cables going on. This one comes in one size and uses a skein of DK weight yarn. Then we have another pattern from Tin Can Knits, their Northward hat. So this is a great easy pattern. It has a one by one rib brim, but this time it's a twisted rib brim. And then it features just one six stitch cable but then as you get to the crown decreases, it's integrated in that cable and the cable changes as well. It gets slightly smaller, so it fits into the crown shaping. This one only has written instructions, but it's definitely beginner friendly. It uses bulky yarn. It just has one type of cable, definitely good for beginners. And the pattern includes four sizes and all of them use just one skein of bulky weight yarn. Number seven is the Road Trip Hat by Kara McKinley. This one is a knit two pearl two rib and it flows right into the cables. I really like when designers plan the ribbing so it flows into the pattern of the hat. Now this one has a six stitch cable as well and it's alternated with smaller left twists and as you decrease for the crown, that six stitch cable is going to change to a four stitch cable. So she's really taken some thought to see how everything will fit together in this hat. It does include written and charted instructions and it also has a cowl pattern as well, which is also free. Definitely beginner friendly. It's pretty simple and it's a good intro to cables. Now this hat pattern comes in three sizes and one skein of worsted weight yarn would be suitable for finishing any of them. Our last hat on the list is the Quick Cable Slouch Hat by Azure Knits. This one is great for beginners. It's an eight row repeat with one cable crossing and you're just working one six stitch cable. It's definitely easy to adjust the sizing for a more fitted beanie. It's very slouchy as it is, but I would say it's more of a recipe because there aren't even gauge measurements listed, but it's worth considering if you want a slouchier beret style hat instead of a more fitted beanie. And if you've knit other projects before, then you should be fine with her instructions. But it's definitely beginner friendly if you wanna tackle your first cable project. So this pattern, it has just one size and uses a skein and a half of bulky weight yarn. But if you have experience with other knitting patterns and feel comfortable, then you should be absolutely fine with this one and adjusting it to your yarn and your needles. Now we still have more patterns to explore, not hat patterns, we finished with those. But if you have a pattern recommendation that features cables, I would love to hear about it. So drop a comment down below, tell me about your favorite cable knitting projects and they might just show up in a future video. But perhaps you don't wanna knit a hat and you'd prefer to practice your cable knitting on some other type of project. So we have seven more things to look at, all featuring cables, all still free, but none of them are hats. The first one is the Honeycomb Erin by Gail bun for Peyton's. So this sweater uses a raglan sleeve construction. If you've ever seen a baseball shirt where you can see that seam running from the underarm to the neckline, it's basically what a raglan is. Now this one is worked in pieces. The two sleeves in the front and back are all worked separately, which is my preferred method for cable projects. They're much easier to work them flat. This one has lots of different cables and it's a great sweater for really showcasing all of the different cables. It does have written and charted instructions, but because of all the different cables and 
knitting a sweater in pieces and sewing it up, there's a lot going on here. So I would say it's more suitable for an intermediate to advanced knitter. And the sweater uses worsted weight wool. The recommended yarn is Peyton's Classic Wool Worsted, something you can probably find at most big box stores in your area. It comes in six sizes, from a 40 inch to a 62 inch bust or chest measurement. Noragon's vintage afghan that she designed for Barocco is probably at the very top of my list. It is a great way to really explore and dive deep into knitting cables. This blanket is knit in 20 individual blocks that are sewn together. Now each of those 20 blocks is a different cable pattern so you really get to explore lots of different types of cables and includes both written and charted instructions but because they do get a little more difficult I would say that it's best for an intermediate to advanced knitter. But if you're a new to cables, you could start with the simpler blocks and then sort of gradually build from there. If you're be feeling adventurous, you could definitely do it. So this blanket comes in one size, it's 40 inches by 60 inches, and you'll need five different colors and four skeins of each color. Now, if that seems like too big of a project and you want something smaller, then you could try the Traveling Cables Hand Warmers by Pearl Soho. Now these are fingerless mitts with four different cables and also has a knit to purl to rib cuff and then stockinette is worked along the hand and the thumb. The cable patterns worked just across the back of the hand. It's just written instructions but it does also include a photo tutorial but because you have quite a few different cables going on here I would say this is more for an intermediate knitter. They come in just one size but one skein of sport weight yarn will be plenty for knitting these mitts. Something even smaller that I would say is definitely a stash buster would be the Main Street Cup Cozy by Tin Can Knits. This one is great for leftover bits of yarn. It only uses 50 yards of DK weight yarn. It's worked in the round. You have a bit of two by two rib at the top and the bottom. And you're just using one basic cable in there and it does have written and charted instructions. Definitely beginner friendly. This is a great little project to tackle if you just wanna try out cables and you've never done it before. Comes in just one size, but definitely easily adjustable and would be stretch over lots of different cups and it uses just 50 yards of DK weight yarn. So it's a really great little leftover stash buster. Would be make great gifts as well. So if you like to give mugs or coffee or gift cards to somebody's favorite coffee shop, then knitting them a little cup cozy to go with it could really personalize that gift as well. It just uses up bits of stash yarn. Next on my list is another design by Nora Gon, the beatnik sweater that she designed for Knitty. So this sweater uses a set in sleeve construction. So you've got that shaped sleeve cap, you're knitting everything in pieces and then sewing them together. It has a bit of twisted rib at the cuffs and the hem and this really lovely boat neck collar. I really like the way that stands up. There is a lot going on though. You've got the twisted rib, there's moss stitch that's used at the sides of the sweater and on the sleeves. And then you have this large central cable panel and then there's cables to either side of that. Lots of different cables and things going on in this design. Now this one is charted only. There are no written instructions for the cable patterns in the sweater. So definitely more to intermediate to advanced knitter would be more suited for this type of sweater. This one comes in seven sizes from a 32 to a 56 inch bust and it uses Aran weight yarn. Then we have another Peyton's design, their must have cardigan. Now this one also uses a set in sleeve shape like the beatnik sweater. So you're knitting everything in pieces and then sewing it all together. And there are lots of different cables going on here as well, but everything's set up in two separate panels and the pattern tells you when to knit each of those panels. So it's pretty easy to follow. And it does include charted and written instructions, but because there's a lot going on, I wouldn't say it's super beginner friendly, but an intermediate to advanced knitter should absolutely be fine. This one comes in four sizes from a 34 to a 41 inch bust and also uses their Peyton's classic wool worsted, so worsted weight yarn. Then we have a really pretty cowl, Nanir by Lucy Haig. And this cowl uses Celtic cables, and I just think it's lovely. Lucy Haig has lots of different designs that feature these interesting interwoven Celtic cable crossings. And this one is free, of course. It's knit lengthwise, you're, so you're starting with a provisional cast on and working the full length of the cowl and then grafting the cast on with that final row together. 
so it ends up being a seamless cowl. But it would definitely be easy to knit more repeats to make it make it larger so you could make more like an infinity scarf size or you could just cast on with a regular cast on and knit a scarf instead. There are lots of cables and crossings going on and special stitches in there. And the pattern does only include charts, but she had a lot of requests about written instructions. So she does have them on her website now as well. So I'll link to that as well. But because of everything that's going on here, I would say it's more suited to an intermediate to advanced knitter. The cowl pattern comes in just one size, but like I said, it's definitely easy to adjust. You could just make a scarf instead or it could make it longer. And if you make her recommended size, just one skein of fingering weight yarn will be plenty. But I think it would be lovely to make it longer and turn it into like an infinity scarf. That would just be lovely. I really like a lot of her designs. If you like intricate cables, then it's worth looking at Lucy Haig's designs. Now, if you wanna knit a cable project, but you're not feeling super confident in your cable knitting abilities, I've got the perfect video for you. This video right here explores the different ways to knit cables with and without cable needles, how to read those instructions you'll find in knitting patterns specific to cables, how to block them, and lots and lots of tips. So click right there, settle in with your knitting, and let's chat about cables. I'll see you in the next video.